Hello all. Welcome to today's talk. Today I am going to talk about AV smart charging infrastructure and how Rust can be very useful while building this infrastructure. So in this talk, uh, I will give brief introduction of smart charging system. Then we are going to see basic architecture of smart charging systems. Then we'll see the threats and challenges involved in the smart charging systems and what are the security requirements while building this system. And finally, Rust. Why Rust? So how Rust can be very useful in building this system? Let's start with the introduction first. The smart charging means an intelligent and optimized approach to charging an electric vehicle. It involves utilizing advanced technologies and algorithms to manage the charging process in a more efficient and effective manner. The traditional charging method involves simply plugging an electric vehicle into power source and allowing it to charge at a constant rate until the battery is full. Smart charging on the other hand uh, takes into account various factors such as electricity demand, grid condition, vehicle specific requirements to optimize the charging process. Some of the key features and benefits of char smart charging. The time based charging, uh, it allows a user to schedule a charging session based on their preference and energy rates. For example, if electricity rates are lower during off peak hours, the system can be set to charge the vehicle during those times, reducing the cost of charging. The demand response integration during high electricity demand, the charging system can adjust the charging rate or delay charging to help balance the grid load and avoid strain on the electrical infrastructure. Grid friendly charging it can distribute the load of charging EVs across different time periods, avoiding excessive strain on the grid during peak demands. So, this helps ensure the stability and reliability of the electrical grid. The dynamic load management uh, it adjusts uh, it can adjust the charging rate based on the available uh, capacity of the electricity it uh, if the other high power consuming device is running in the building or household the charging rate can be temporarily reduced to avoid overloading of the electrical system vehicle to grid integration it it can allow charging uh, it can allow the charge EV to feed electricity back to the grid when needed. So this enables the EV to act as a temporary energy storage device and can help balance the grid during peak demand or provide backup power during emergencies. Renewable energy integration, uh, it, can pro it can be integrated with the renewable energy sources such as solar power, solar panels and uh, wind turbines. Maximizing the use of clean energy and reducing the reliance on fossil fuels. Overall, smart charging optimizes the charging process for electric vehicles, taking into account factors such as cost, grid condition, user preferences. By intelligently managing the charging load, it helps to reduce the energy cost, minimizing the grid stress, and promote renewable energy integration and contribute to a more sustainable and efficient transportation ecosystem. So this is a, a typical architecture architecture of smart charging systems. So it in, involves uh, uh, several components that work together to enable intelligent and optimize, optimized charging of vehicles. Uh, so that there are two primary interfaces: one for distribution, uh, for or distributing uh, interface for distributing electricity, and another, another interface for uh, control related like status authorization metering and billing so these interfaces are implemented using interoperable standards and protocols like iso 15118 and ocpp uh, these are the, there are some key elements found in smart charging systems typically so uh, these are like ev uh, electric vehicle electric vehicle supply equipment evsc charging uh, operate charging point operator so cpu distribution system operator dso e mobility service provider emsps uh, then cloud services uh, 
such as Azure or AWS. Uh, then original equipment manufacturers, OEMs. So uh, EV is a it itself is a essential part of the system. So it includes battery pack uh, and onboard charger that allows it to connect to the external power source for charging. So charging station consists of electric uh, vehicle supply equipment through which the EV access the smart charging system. So communication between EV and uh, uh, EVAC and EV uh, it can be implemented through using ISO one five one one network. Smart charging system uh, relies on communication networks to facilitate the data exchange between different components. So EV, uh, EVAC can connect to proprietary cloud services such as uh, AWS or Microsoft Azure uh, for uh, to send and receive, uh, receive relevant data. So connection to the cloud can be uh, established using a variety of protocols depending upon the use case of desired level of security. Uh, then charging management system it uh, it serves as a central control unit of smart charging system. It uh, receives data from various sources and makes a decision about the charging. Process. The charging management system uh, includes software algorithms and database to analyze data optimize charging schedules and communicate it with the other system company. Uh, these systems can, uh, these are designed to interact with the electrical grid. Uh, they can communicate with the grid operators to gather information about the grid condition, then the electricity prices, demand, uh, response. Uh, then this, in, uh, this integration allows system to adjust the charging portion based on the grid requirement. Uh, the, the, these systems uh, often encrypt energy management capabilities to optimize the use of available energy resources. Uh, this includes load balancing to distribute the charging load across the different time periods. Uh, the considering factors like grid capacity, energy demand, uh, renewable energy. Uh, it also provides interface uh, for EV owners like electric vehicle owners. Or operators to interact with the smart charging system so it can uh, it can be a mobile app a web portal or in vehicle displays that allow users to monitor and control the charging process uh, or maybe they can set preference or view uh, charging related information uh, this system may include a data analytics reporting feature to provide insight into charging pattern energy consumption cost environmental impacts these uh, analytics can help users to make informed decisions about their charging behavior and optimize their energy use. So, so architect, uh, these architecture of smart charging system can, uh, can vary depending upon the specific implementation and requirement. So different vendors or organization may have their own variation and additional feature based on their technical uh, technological capabilities or objectives. Smart charging infrastructure faces several threats and challenges that need to be addressed uh, to ensure its safety and security. So here are uh, some of the threats and challenges uh, in the smart charging infrastructure. So unauthorized access uh, to the charging infrastructure can pose a significant threat. Uh, then charging infrastructure deals with the user information, uh, charging transactions and other sensitive information. So attack attackers may attempt to disturb the charging infrastructure uh, with a denial of service attack. Uh, then smart charging infrastructure can be targeted by various forms of malware including ransomware or viruses as well as other cyber attacks uh, that, uh, that can disturb or manipulate the, the charging process. So to overcome these threats and challenges, there are some security measures that need to be considered while building the smart charging infrastructure. So these are some of the key uh, security requirements that should be considered uh, in smart charging infrastructure. Uh, this security is a critical aspect of uh, smart charging infrastructure to ensure privacy, integrity and availability of the charging system. Uh, authentication uh, so uh, this is a system should implement a robust authentication mechanism to verify the identity of a charging station and the EV users so it includes secure protocols digital certificates and other uh, encryption techniques to prevent unauthorized access uh, and uh, it should protect against the attacks 
then secure communication the system should employ secure communication protocols to protect the confidentiality and integrity of the uh, data exchange between the charging station uh, charging management system and other components uh, such as ev uh, the encryption techniques uh, such as tls uh, can be used to uh, encrypt the communication channel and prevent the eavesdropping or data tampering then access control uh, this uh, access control me mechanism should be implemented to restrict access to charging infrastructure components and uh, functionalities based uh, on a user roles and privileges so this ensures that only authorized personnel uh, can configure control and manage the charging systems uh, firmware and software security uh, charging station and other components should have uh, secure firmware uh, and software with a regular security updates uh, uh, the software should be uh, uh, it should have a uh, secure coding practices uh, then the vul vulnerability vulnerability assessments and uh, other pen pen uh, penetration testings to identify any potential security bugs then data privacy uh, charging charging infrastructure should handle uh, sensitive data in compliance with the uh, applicable privacy regulations then availability uh, charging infrastructure should be designed to uh, uh, with uh, it, it should be designed with a redundancy and fault tolerance to ensure uh, high availability and the resilience then uh, charging system should comply with uh, relevant uh, security standards and regu regulations to ensure a uh, robust security so by considering these uh, security requirements smart charging infrastructure can protect against potential cyber threats safeguard uh, user pri privacy and uh, ensure reliable and secure operation of the charging systems so high trust uh, so far uh, we, we have seen uh, the threats and challenges challenges uh, and the security requirements involved in building smart charging infrastructure so rust can be ideal choice uh, as smart charging infrastructure often involves uh, embedded systems, safety critical systems, protocols, network communication, performance optimization, cryptography, and encryption. So, uh, the charging station controllers and communication models, these are embedded systems. So, Rust, uh, Rust low level control, minimal uh, runtime, and strong memory safety guarantees. Uh, make it suitable for developing firmware and software for these embedded systems. Rust, uh, Rust's ownership uh, and borrowing system helps prevent common issues like null pointer dereferences, memory leaks, and uh, data races, uh, uh, which which uh, which can improve reliability and security of the the charging infrastructure. Then certain components of charging infrastructure such as safety critical systems and protocols requires high reliability and robustness. Rust emphasis on memory safety and strong type system help uh, it can help to help reduce the risk of vulnerabilities and potential potential safety hazards. Rust core uh, is less prone to memory related bugs and other common security vulnerabilities, enhancing the overall safety of the charging infrastructure. And Rust support for building efficient and scalable network application uh, can be valuable in the context of smart charging infrastructure. So char charging station, uh, charging management system and other components of communi uh, they co communicate over a network using various protocols. So Rust's ecosystem provides libraries and framework for building network application allowing developers to create performant and secure communication channels. This can help uh, ensure reliable and secure data transmission between charging infrastructure components. Then uh, performance and optimize and Rust focus on performance makes it suitable for optimizing uh, resource intensive opera operation within the smart charging infrastructure. For example, uh, Rust zero cost abstraction and fine grain control over uh, memory layout and concurrency can enable developers to write efficient algorithms and data structure for uh, tasks like load balancing, energy management, and grid integration. This can lead to improve system responsiveness and better resource utilization. In cryptography and encryption, uh, the Rust uh, ecosystem provides uh, 
crypto graphic libraries that and uh, enable developers to implement secure encryption and authentication mechanism these libraries are there to best practices and uh, crypto uh, crypto cryptography and regular uh, the, these libraries are regularly audited for security vulnerabilities so uh, these by using these libraries developer can ensure the secure communication and data protection and authentication within the smart charging infrastructure Rust can provide a solid foundation for implementing EV smart charging infrastructure uh, with its performance, safety, concurrency support, and security feature. Uh, but to implement uh, this infrastructure, uh, we need these two important standards uh, ISO 15118 and OCPP, which is the Open Charge Point Protocol. These standard uh, and protocol facilitate the interoperability and communication between different uh, entities involved in the system so iso 15118 uh, is the international standard that defines the communication between electric vehicles and charging infrastructure so the protocol defines data formats uh, to enable secure and standardized communication between various charging scenarios for for various charging scenarios uh, like AC charging, DC charging, and uh, as well as bidirectional power flow. So the key features and benefits of ISO 15118 are uh, plug and charge, then bidirectional power flow, enhanced security, uh, and then smart charging optimization. So uh, this this standard uh, introduces the plug and charge concept, which allows EV, uh, which allows EV2 automatically authenticate and authorize themselves for charging without requiring additional user intervention. So this simplifies the charging process and uh, enhances the user uh, convenience. So bidirectional power flow uh, between EVs and uh, grid. So this this allow uh, allows EVs to not only consume energy from the grid but also access, uh, feed the excess energy back to the grid. So enabling vehicle to grid service like energy storage and grid stabilization. Then uh, this standard also incorporates uh, the robust security measures including encryption and uh, digital certificates so to ensure secure communication between EVs and charging infrastructure. So it uh, protects against unauthorized access and data manipulation. So, uh, uh, this stand supports uh, advanced charging features such as load management and tariff optimization. It enables dynamic tariff negotiation between EV and uh, charging station. Uh, so allowing EV to optimize charging uh, schedules based on grid condition, energy prices and user preference. And OCPP open charge point protocol uh, is a open communication protocol that uh, standardizes the interaction between charging station and charging management systems so it enables different charging station manufacturers and charging network operator to develop interoperable solution so ocpp defines set of messages and data structure that facilitate communication for various charging related operation such as start stop uh, obtain charge session data monitor charging station status so key features and benefits of ocpp include interoperability scalability flexibility and security so ocpp allows different brands of charging station and charging management systems to communicate with each other seamlessly promoting compatibility and enabling uh, open and competitive markets uh, the OCPP supports wide range of charging infrastructure develop, uh, deployments from individual charging stations to large scale uh, charging network, so making it suitable for various charging scenarios and future expansion. The protocol de uh, is designed to be flexible and, and ex extensible, uh, allowing for the addition of custom features and integration of new functionalities. As, uh, as the EV, EV charging ecosystem evolves. It also uh, provisions for secure communication and data exchange. 
uh, so ensuring the privacy and integrity of the charging related information so both ocpp and iso 15118 play an important role in establishing a standardized communication and interoperability in ev charging ecosystem they promote seamless charging experience facilitate the growth of charging network and enable advanced functionalities like vehicle to grid and smart charging optimizations the smart charging systems play a crucial role in the adoption of uh, and growth of electric vehicles so in the next uh, video we shall demonstrate an example using rust or cpp create in rust so this is a rust library that provides implementation of uh, cpp protocol so we aim to illustrate how rust can be leveraged to build secure uh, performant and scalable ev smart charging system so the, the demo will highlight the key functionalities uh, such as book notification, status updates, and data recovery to give you a hands on understanding of, of how protocol works and how it can be integrated into projects. Uh, so, thank you for watching this video, and we shall meet you in the next video.